The human body is made up of small structures called cells, which divide rapidly. Imagine the division of these cells is controlled in a manner similar to the red and green signal of a traffic light, where red signal stop dividing and green signal continue to divide. In cancers, the cells only respond to the green signal. As such, they continuously divide in ways that are detrimental to the human body. One gene which can signal red is called P53, but when it changes or becomes mutated, it can no longer single red. The cells therefore continuously divide, leading to a variety of human cancers. For my understitation research, I wanted to study mutated P53 in a subgroup of breast cancer called triple negative breast cancer, which disproportionately affects women of African-American descent. I focused on two adjacent regions of the mutated P53. One region, which helps P53 form a four-member structure, and a second region, which contains a lot of positively charged amino acid that helps P53 bind to the DNA. These two regions act in a way to accelerate tumor growth. Therefore, if we understand how they act, we can short circuit the spread of tumor. I address this question by exploring how the inability to form the four-membered structure or the loss of the positively charged amino acid had on the activity of mutated P53. I use the gene editing technique called CRISPR-Cas9. Through this approach, I was able to generate different forms of the mutated P53 one form in which they lack the ability to form the four-member structure and a second form in which they lack the positively charged amino acid. Through this work, we were able to show that the region that helped P53 form the four-member structure was not critical to the activity of mutated P53. Rather, the region that contains a lot of positively charged amino acid was critical to mutant P53 being cancer causing. The take home message of this research is that the region that contains the positively charged amino acid plays critical role in tumor formation and progression. Therefore, with this understanding, we can develop therapeutic remedies to target this region. Thank you.